Uh, yeah, BJ, just with the way you guys have been getting into these shootouts, do you, is there an area on defense you guys are focusing on this week? Um, uh, I wouldn't say uh, necessarily a, a specific focus on, um, you know, we're on to the next game. Um, you know, last week was last week. Uh, we definitely have the things that we need to clean up and that we've gone over. Um, and, and so, uh, you know, we definitely had to do those things and touch up on those things. Uh, but, but, yeah. What, what gives you confidence, though, going forward that you guys will be able to clean this up? Um, uh, because we're able to actually uh, face face whatever, uh, you know, it is that we dealt with, uh, not turning the other cheek uh, towards whatever the problem uh, was. Uh, and so, you know, that's the first sign of uh, our first uh, step in, uh, you know, so handling a, a problem uh, and getting towards the solution. Thank you. Thank you, Marla. Jeff Shadell, you have our next question. Hey, BJ, along those lines, though, you guys have given up 30 or more points five times in seven games. And so do you see a common thread to that? And what, can you keep playing like that and still be a good playoff team? Um, uh, definitely have to uh, tighten up, uh, you know, I'd say, and, um, and get better. Uh, you know, like I said, man, uh, just get better and uh, make the corrections and, uh, you know, definitely have to tighten up. Thank you, Jeff Scott Patrick, we'll go to you. Hey, BJ, it feels like so much of the pass rush is coming from Miles. Um, how can you guys help him out? Uh, just, you know, guys have to win their, uh, their one-on-ones when the time comes. Uh, that's, that's about it. Uh, Miles is great, uh, so, so you know, uh, I can see, uh, you know, you're saying it, uh, and it may seem that way um, uh, because he's spectacular at what he does, uh, but definitely, uh, you know, uh, when we get the opportunity, we have to win our one-on-ones. It doesn't feel like to you that you guys are putting too much pressure on Miles to be the guy getting to the quarterback all the time? No, I don't think so. Okay, thanks. Thank you, Scott. Mary Kay Cabot, you have our next question. Um, hey, BJ, uh, Derek Carr only has two interceptions this season uh, against, I think it's like 13 touchdowns or something like that. So what is he doing well? How is he avoiding those? And uh, do you still see opportunities for you guys to maybe get some? Uh, yeah, uh, as long as the ball is in the field of play, uh, there's opportunity. Uh, and uh, so, um, you know, uh, he's, he's no, no one's perfect. Uh, and so believe me, uh, you know, it, it only takes one game. Uh, and, uh, you know, I definitely feel like our defense is, you know, could, could definitely get takeaways. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Thanks, man. Okay, George Thomas, we'll go to you. I, I was wondering if you could tell me what the, the challenge is in dealing with a tight end like Darren Waller is. Um. Well, uh, <laughs> You know, uh, he's more of a receiver body um, than, a, than an actual tight end. Uh, so as far as in the uh, passing game, uh, you know, you have to make the correct adjustments uh, when deal with dealing with someone like that. And then, um, yeah, that's about it, man. Um, just have to understand, uh, you know, uh, who you're dealing with. Uh, it's all about uh, personnel and, uh, and knowing your matchups. But he, he's got a big, chunky body, too. I mean, I, I, he looks more like a tight end than me. Thanks. All right, thank you, George. We'll go to Nate Ulrich. Hey, BJ, um, what, what has Denzel Ward uh, brought to you guys? What have you learned about him uh, as a teammate this season? Oh, man, Denzel is a... Great teammate, uh, first and foremost, uh, and and uh, you know his play has been outstanding. Um, you know, whenever whenever you know he's been targeted, uh, you know he always steps up, man. And so uh, his play speaks for itself. Um, so you know I don't really have to you know rant on and on about about Denzel. His play speaks for itself, uh, but he's also a great teammate. 
do you get them like a little gift for the, the on the interception or how did that work out? I ought to, um, cause it was definitely uh, an assist. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, definitely laughed about it. And uh, but yeah, I appreciate it. Hey, did you get a, uh, a look back at that that tackle for loss he had on the perimeter, uh, where he slid under a block? And well, <laughs> have you seen a corner ever ever pull that off? So and Man, that was some 007. I don't know. I don't know what to call it. <laughs> Uh, but it was beautiful. It was beautiful. I will say that. Thanks, Nate. Marla Reidenauer. Yeah, BJ, just one thing about the linebacking core. Are you, got, are you figuring out, like, what you guys do best, you know, kind of what your strengths are? I mean, you know, I mean, especially now that you've been together for a little bit. Um, uh, I think we uh, have a great feel of uh, each other's strengths and uh, what we all need work on. Um, and, you know, we're just all trying to get better uh, each and every day. Um, I feel like the guys are getting better, uh, including myself. Um, and, and just keep pushing forward, keep pushing forward. What do you think you're better, you've gotten better at? Um, uh, me specifically, uh, to be honest, I work on every single thing. Uh, so I feel like I've gotten better at uh, each and everything, to be honest with you. Uh, uh, you know, I've, I've heard uh, numerous uh, rumors of things that people think I need to work on. Uh, I feel like I'll tighten up on those things, uh, but not because they said it, uh, because I wanted to be great at it. Uh, and, and so, yeah. I'm surprised you're listening to those rumors. I don't. <laughs> I don't. Thank you. Thank you. Might we'll go to Dan Lobby for our final question for BJ. Hey, BJ, we're, we're kind of getting to see a little more Ronnie Harrison over the last few weeks. I mean, you've, you've been getting to see him since the trade happened. What, what can you tell us about him? What, what have you learned about him since he arrived? Um, you know, Ronnie, Ronnie is a hard nosed guy, man. Um, comes in, uh, you know, uh, if, if we need to talk about an adjustment and whatever, uh, he, you know, he, he's with it. Uh, you know, he's a, he's a, he's a, a real player, uh, you know, and I'll say that, uh, he's a real player and, uh, a ballsy guy, uh, you know, to say to say the least. Uh, so, you know, it's just great having a guy out there with great instincts and, uh, you know, able to, you know, make plays as well. It, it seems like he gets his hands on the football a lot. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, is he just one of those guys that has a knack for that? Uh, yeah, I'd say so. I'd say so in the time that I've been with him and played with him and, uh, you know, uh, just as far as what I've seen and, and what he's done, I'd say that.